year in a row, Digital Fight Club is pairing 10 experts to verbally spar against each other on technology topics chosen from the Accenture Interactive Trends book. We are here to interview both the fighters and the refs before tonight's fights. So consumers have to take responsibility for their own digital safety because no one else will. And you? I'm thinking that there is no way that you're going to be safe in the public forum, so I'm not sure Stephen has it right yet. Well, definitely our devices are part of our uh, anatomy now, and they're connected um, for various reasons, so we're going to talk about why they remain important in our lives, and especially moving forward. And you? I'm going to talk about the idea that the volume, the massive amounts of information is causing a lot of chaos in our lives, and so while they can be very important, how is it that we start to control them rather than us being controlled by them? So the big question is synthetic reality does real even matter? And my angle is it absolutely matters. And, and my angle is synthetic reality actually matters more than most people think already. The take I'm, I'm, I'm going with is that while privacy is important, personalization is more to most consumers, and that we're on the verge of, of hamstringing innovation in that space by going too far on privacy. How about you? Well, look, I, I work for an online dating company, and users that use my product are giving us the most intimate view of what they do. And so I believe that no matter what, privacy is a human right, not just a business right. And all policy needs to be focused on the consumer, not the company. You know, I'm really interested in the privacy angle. I actually wear a camera every day, so I want to see where they think this is going. My top areas that I really want to learn are data personalization, to solve customer problems and uh, on the same hand uh, protecting the digital identity. So where is the line between personalization and uh, privacy and how is it going to be used to solve customers' problems? I'm pretty excited about the silence topic. Um, I think digital has uh, overextended into people's life and I think we need to bring it back. Um, so I'm really excited about the equilibrium of where that point is. So I'm, I'm interested in the silence topic. And you? Well, it's funny that he's got the silence topic because I'm in podcasting, so I'm all about broadcasting, messaging, and content creation. But uh, my personal interest is in synthetic reality. And uh, what is real? What is reality and what is real today? And what, what that definition means tomorrow? Every year we theme this event. It just adds a layer of fun to it. So we started with Vegas boxing, we've done street fighting, we've done MMA. This year, in honor of uh, Warner Brothers re-releasing Mortal Kombat, the old 80s arcade game, we said let's go full tilt into Mortal Kombat. It is completely themed. Every fighter is a Mortal Kombat character. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Andrew, you're back. Why are you back every year? He said it. It's the most fun event I've been to every year. And it's just worth doing. And I mean, feel the, feel the atmosphere in here. It's just so much fun. And you know what? People learn. People learn stuff from these fights, right? Every, these fighters lay it on the line. So while it's a lot of fun, it's, you're learning something without even realizing it. 